As I've said before, With the Winter Olympics less than two months away, President Joe Biden has authorized a diplomatic boycott of the Games in Beijing, China. We cannot conduct ourselves with business as usual, that we are not in a state where business as usual is appropriate at a time where there are human rights abuses that we have been outspoken about, that we have taken actions on, and we feel this sends a clear message. That means the athletes, many of whom West 2 News and our affiliates have profiled in the past as they have trained, will be able to go, while official White House staff will not. Uh, we need a, a full boycott. Local Republican Congressman Michael Waltz tells me an athlete boycott of the games, something the U.S. hasn't done in four decades, would send a message to China and sponsors like Nike and Coca-Cola that human rights abuses will not be tolerated. He pointed to the recent mysterious disappearance of Chinese pro tennis player Peng Shuai after she accused a high-ranking Communist Party official of sexually assaulting her. Monday, the Women's Tennis Association canceled all tournaments in China. We've been asking the IOC to move the games for years uh, so that our athletes can compete with their head held high and shame on the IOC for not doing so and for forcing our athletes to choose between their values uh, and being able to compete. This reaction from local Democratic Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy, a diplomatic boycott of the Winter Olympics, is a proper way for the United States to condemn the Chinese Communist Party's human rights violations. It does not bar our athletes from participating in the Games, which I would strongly oppose. A spokesman for the U.S. Olympic Committee said it supports the president's decision, preferring governments work directly on human rights issues while allowing athletes to compete. Greg Fox, West 2 News. 